Are you a solo business owner still using sticky notes or complicated spreadsheets just to keep track of who you should be following up with? Well, forget the expensive CRMs. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a free, simple, and powerful CRM system using nothing but Airtable and an ADN. So getting straight into it. This right here is what a Airtable CRM looks like. You'll have all of your contacts with the name, email, phone number, notes and all that, contact history, integrations, oh, oh integrations, sorry, interactions, uh, companies. And this right here is pretty much a, what a basic CRM looks like. There's not, not much complicated to it, very simple contact. You can, you can go through, name it all, however you want, but this is pretty much what a typical CRM looks like, but you don't have to pay for it now. And it's very easy and flexible compared to other free CRMs out there. And it natively connects to N8N. So it can connect to any automation you have going on right now to not only keep track of your contacts, but you can keep track of anything else you're doing in your business. Now to create this, let me back out, let me go here. All I did was hit create, build app with AI, CRM, and then here you can do things like add section for social media, add invoice section, yeah, yada, yada, yada. But I'm not gonna do that because I already set one up. So let's get straight into it. Going to NADM. Now in order to send the follow-up message to anyone that you've already contacted in your CRM is to make two workflows. Now, the first one is going to be to check if a lead has been contacted. Let's go ahead and run that. So boom, if a lead has been contacted, let me see here, status contacted. They will then do, 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 run that. Okay. So after, let me explain this real quick. So how this entire system works is you'll need an Airtable trigger. Now here, what you're going to do is connect with, with your credential. Now to do this, let me pick a new, uh, new credential to get the API key for Airtable. You go over here. Uh, you go into your settings. Can I do from here? Yeah. Builder Hub. Go down to. Oh, right here, personal access tokens, hit create new token. Now you can go ahead and name it whatever you want. Um, give it all the scope you'll need. So if you need this automation to see the data in your records, create, edit, delete records, all that, you can go through this really quick. Uh, if you want, you can just add all of them if you're not sure yet. That way, if you later on, if you run into a problem and you're wondering why the automation isn't pulling data from the API, it's probably because you don't have the correct scope as a permission. So, but going back to NADN, once you do that, I already did it, so I've got to do it. Now, poll time, this is pretty much how often you check or the trigger is going to check for an update for any of this. Now, I have it set to one minute just for demo purposes, but again, you can change it to every hour, every day, every X, whatever. It's really up to you how you want to run it. Uh, for the URL, you are pretty much you go to your Airtable base or the CRM that you made, copy the entire URL, and then the, where is it? Where is that little snippet at? Right here. Copy the part that starts with, uh, what is that? TBLA, which is just for table. Copy the entire, whoa, okay. <laughs> copy the entire thing um, and paste it here. Mine looks a little different. Not sure why, I think I'm, something got mixed up here, but it's working, so I'm not gonna touch it, just for the video. Now, after that, you're gonna build a if node that pretty much takes the status from the previous field, copies it over here, and it checks if the status is equal to contacted. Now, you wanna make sure that, just for good practice, that you're spelling this exactly as it will pop up in Airtable. Now, did I miss anything over here? No, I didn't, okay. So, after that, you wanna go ahead and grab a date and time node, and then you're gonna set the date to now, which, yeah, so you set the date to now, and then depending on how long you want it to follow up or how many days after you want to follow up after you reach them or contacted them for the first time, you can set it to days, months, weeks, whatever. Um, for this example, I'm doing seven days. So it's going to add seven days onto whatever today's date is. And then from there, I'll put a new field called follow up date. And then from there, I'm going to add another Airtable node that's going to be a record update. Now from there, you're gonna make sure you're selecting the correct base and you're pulling it from the correct table. Now in my example, there's different fields, contact interactions and all that. 
but the follow-up there you go the follow-up um column is going to be in context but it might be different for you it would make the most sense to keep it with the contact field that way you know we can just go through their contacts and see okay i gotta follow up with them on this date but anyway back going back to it um map manually and the only thing you really want to update is you can delete everything else that's going to pop up because if i i'm not gonna do it right now just to keep things simple but there's gonna be a whole bunch of options here but i will do it why not da -da -da, map column automatically so yeah okay never mind but yeah here we go so you have the name email phone number you can pretty much delete all these because when you make the node and you connect it they're all going to pop up just go ahead and delete them the only thing you really need to need here is the follow-up date and then the id which will be right here after that you're going to go ahead and make the second workflow now in this one this is going to be sending the follow-up now how it works is you want to have a trigger that is a schedule node if you go in here it's going to trigger every single day at 9 a.m and it's going to check to see, okay. If anyone inside of the con in your contacts for your CRM has a follow-up date that is equal to today. And if it is, oh, I forgot to run it, hold on. Okay, so um, I ran the workflow, but I realized that the follow-up date is gonna be added for seven days from now. So what we're gonna do here is just go ahead and delete that. We're gonna go back to June 25th. There we go. Now, if we go back to the air table, run this again. There we go, Evan Wright. Now, after that, so basically what just happened was, let me explain it. So what happened was the second workflow is pretty much just checking every day at 9 a.m. who in your CRM has a follow-up date set for today. And based off of that, it's going to pull any one of this for this example, it's only Evan. And since Evan has a follow-up date for today, we're gonna to go over here and send him an email saying, hey, Evan Wright, let's touch bases. And then that's pretty much it. That's the basic workflow. That's the skeleton to build everything else from here. Um, not super complicated at all. I mean, the fact that you can pretty much build a very simple yet effective CRM using nothing but Airtable and N8N, which both are free. They're, I mean, CRM, the Airtable might have some uh, paid features around AI, but really, I don't I don't pay for Airtable. I did it completely free, and I have an entire CRM pretty much set up. This is all you really need. You don't need any high-level $100 a month. You don't need to pay for HubSpot, none of that. All you need is this, super simple, automate most of it. I mean, this right here can take you like an hour to set up in total if you're a beginner. If you know what you're doing, you can set all this up in like 30 minutes. So. With that being said, if you need help setting up a system like this that's more in depth, if you want to add it to a system you have going on right now, if you want to build a more complicated automation system for reaching out, because again, you can do reach out through email, you can go over here and say, you know what, let's do uh, Twilio instead and make a call. You want to connect to your voice agents, whatever. There's so many things you can do with this automation system and the power really is making it custom for your business that's where the power comes in at because a lot of people are offering to sell templates of automations trying to sell um something that they got some from some from somebody else and reselling it as their own which is the issue there's not a lot of transparent people on the internet when it comes to automations like this dude i would not recommend just buying anything online from a template oh yeah here's this template uh whatever whatever you can buy it for 50 bucks I wouldn't recommend doing that because again, that's a very generic use case. And unless you know how to build systems like this, that's not going to be tailored for you. Now, if, if you already know how to use anything and you want to take that and then create a custom version of it from that base, you can do that. But then why pay? You can just make it from scratch with a little extra, what, 15, 20 minutes, maybe. But again, if you want help building something like this more complicated or more in depth for your own business, Click the link below, schedule a free demo call. We can talk it out for about 15, 20 minutes. See the pain points in your business, what you're going through, what you're looking for. And we can talk about if any then, if make that call, whatever. If automations is a solution for you and how we can make that happen. So if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you.